Hello! How are you guys doing? This is um, super weird, um, but that's how this is going to be for a while, I guess. Um, so, you're going to hear a lot of ums from me because I'm probably not going to go back and edit this. Uh, you're also probably going to hear screaming from my children. Possibly a little boy will interrupt us at some point and ask for snacks or something like that because Zandy is eating every five seconds. Um, but anyway, here we go. Um, so things to do today. Um, the first thing you need to do is start watching the video. Hey, congratulations, you did that. That one's done. Phew. All right, now... You should realize that you should have printed off the puzzle um, and then you can open it on your phone or you can print it off so that you can write on it. But we're definitely doing a puzzle for a warm up today because it is, of course, Puzzle Monday. So that's how that's going to have to be. Um, can't break the rules. Um, so you can go ahead and pause the video right now while you print off the puzzle or open it on your phone so you can write on the puzzle. Um, if you do the phone choice, then you can just uh, submit a screenshot to me and I'll grade it that way. So, uh, oh, you paused the video. Good job. I'm sure you did. And if you didn't, pause now. <laughs> Waiting for people to pause. I bet a whole bunch of you didn't pause it, did you? Fine, whatever. We're going to keep going. Oh, dumb story about my life. Okay. Um, I was on a phone call with a parent um, earlier this week, and Zandy interrupted me loudly while he was on the I was on the phone call, and told me that he had a uh, quote big poop, and I should come see, um, which was great. Uh, luckily, the parent thought it was very funny, very embarrassing for me, so I thought I'd share it with all of you. Um, also, uh, Zandy's potty trained now, so that is a hooray. All right, let's give this puzzle a try. So this is called um, Philippix, and the way this works is that the number that is in the box tells you how many around it are shaded in. So for example, this one that says six right here, that means in these nine boxes, including the six, that nine of them are filled in. So I'm gonna use two colors for this. I suggest you do the same thing. Um, for me, blue will be my yes color. And orange will be my no color. Oh, by the way, this is a file on Schoology, so that's how you can print it off. So, um, we should start with the easy bits. Um, the easy things would be anywhere you see a zero, because you know that those are all no's. So I'm going to go to all the zeros right now and color every square around it, including that square, my no color. You should be doing this with me right now. Little ASMR moment here, coloring it in very nicely. So nicely. And then let's see, you got a zero down here. You can hear my children yelling in the distance with my husband. He's trying to keep them in a room that is separate from here, but we'll see if that works. Probably not. We've been really missing you guys throughout this week. Two weeks. Feels like forever since I saw you guys last, and yeah, it's really rough. I'm sure you're not completely missing school, but if you are at all, then here I am. Okay, now the nine, on the other hand, that means that all of the squares around it are completely colored in. So that nine is done. I think that's the only nine in the puzzle. Okay. All right. Um... So now what I'm going to look at is this six right here. Do you see how that six already has six blues around it, including the six? So one, two, three, four, five, six. That means that all the other ones must be a no. By the way, this doesn't make a picture. Um, as far as I know, it doesn't make a picture when it's done. So that is very not satisfying, but 
it is what it is. Still fun to do, hopefully. Um, and then the next one we have is this seven right here. This seven, do you see how this seven right now has one yes and then two no? But since the total number of squares around it is nine, that means that these two being no mean that the rest are yeses. So that's a yes. Right there. And the same thing with the seven below it, because right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots filled in, which means the other two are no. Hopefully a nice little logic puzzle to start your morning. This is due, by the way, next Monday, which is 4-2. So, oh, I'm sorry, no, it's due on Thursday because it's the end of the quarter already. So Thursday is the last day when I'll accept late work and that kind of stuff. So if you want this counted for um, this quarter, then you have to make sure to do it by then. Okay, this six right here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, so the rest have to be no's, like that. And then if you look at the four on top of it, so far it has one, two, three, so this spot right there must also be a no. I'm gonna finish this little corner with you, don't worry, I'm not gonna do this whole puzzle. That would be too much. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, so next let's look at this eight right there. This eight on top of the nine already has one no spot. And since there are only nine yes possible spots, then that one also has to be a yes. All right, that finishes out that five right there because these five are all filled in. So that spot above antenna diagonal right to the five has to be a no. And this four right here, that one's all complete. One, two, three, four. So those spots also have to be a no. So since there are only, there are one, two, three spots here left for that four and for this other four right